Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. I'm Bella David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate Spearman's rank correlation coefficient in Excel with data types. So let's get started. Now we have this sample data set of our 20 cities. Now I'm using Excel for Microsoft 365, Beta Channel, and Enterprise 5. And because of that, I have access to the data types located in the data tab of the ribbon. Now let's fetch some information for all these cities. So I'm going to select all the cities, okay? Country shift down arrow key. So come to the data tab. Of course, you need to be connected to internet. Then we have the data types. So I'm going to click on this drop down and we have all these our data types. Now I'm going to click on the geography data types and that's going to convert the cell values to geography data type. Okay, now we have all the values ready. So I'm going to click on this insert data and we want information that is peculiar to all of these selected series. So let's scroll down and choose population. Okay, so we have the population for each of these series. Again, we need another information. So let's go ahead and select the area in square kilometer. Okay, so that's here. All right, so our information is ready. So let's provide a meaningful headings for our population and area in square kilometer. So I'm going to just type in population and then um, area in square kilometer now i write factor the raise to power tool so what i'm going to do is having deployed control enter i'm going to come to the insert tab of the ribbon to the far right of my screen i have the symbols group and i click on the symbol okay so i need to ensure that my font is set to normal text and my subset is latin one supplement and of course the front is unicode x and then if you scroll around here you see the raise to power tool and even the cube right so let's click on insert and click on close control enter again and we have it ready so the next thing we want to do is to rank our population then we do the same thing for the area in square kilometer now let's do this for the population so i'm going to just type in pop rank now i can actually use some two functions in excel such as the rank avg that is rank average and rank EQ. So let's use the other one, equal sign, the rank EQ. Okay, so press the tab key. Now, the first argument is the number. Okay, so the number is going to be the value in cell B2, comma, and the reference, the list that I want to rank is going to be all the values here or the population. Then I'm going to make this list that the reference to be in absolute so that's it's going to give me exactly what I want. So I'm going to press F4 on my keyboard once, and that makes it to be absolute. Now, the order, which is the optional argument, performs descending order by default. So that can be skipped. Okay. So I'm going to close my formula. So when I press F9 to evaluate, now you can actually see that London is going to be ranked as number three based on the population. So Control Z and Control Enter. Then we send it down with the other field. Okay, so you can actually see that Tokyo has the largest population because it's ranked number one, followed by Moscow, followed by London, and so on and so forth. Now, let's do the same thing for area in square kilometer. So, I'm going to just copy this. Okay, I'm just you know type in rank. Okay, now again, I'm going to use the same rank dot eq, press my tab key. The number is going to be the value in cell C2, then comma for the reference. I'm going to select all this, control shift down arrow key. Again, we make it to be absolute. And of course, the order option argument can be skipped. So I close my parenthesis when I press F9, boom. You can actually see that London is ranked as number five based on the area square kilometer. So press my control Z, control enter, then we auto field to send down the result. Now let's just see this data. I can actually see that the city of Alberta in Canada has the largest area in square kilometer. It has 661,843, which is bigger than some even wealthy developed countries, followed by the city of Dubai. Then we have the city of Moscow. Okay and in that order now we are moving forward 
So the next thing we want to do is to find the difference between the population rank and the area square kilometer rank. So I'm going to just type in D in the cell. Now I'm going to just use a simple formula which is going to be equal sign reference the value in cell D2 minus the value in cell E2. Control enter. So that gives us minus 2 because 3 minus 5 will give us minus 2. So we copy down the formula. Okay, now the next one to do is to square this calculated difference. So I'm going to just type in D, control enter. So I want the list to power 2. So come to the insert tab in the symbols, click on the symbol, and then we want this insert close. Control enter. Boom. Okay, let's just you know, make things to look more interesting. Okay, I'm going to copy control B to make it bold. Come to the home tab. Want to center it, okay? And let's just you know, let's apply the all borders. Then come down here. We select all borders. Now this is looking nice. So for the um, D squared, now I'm going to show you three different methods. Let me just create additional two columns, okay? So let me just copy this. Control C, like brush and paste here. Control V. Now the first method is having to use the power function in excel so let's see how to do that equal sign power by definitions it returns the result of a number raised to a power so press the tab key now the number is going to be the value in cell f2 then comma so raise to power 2 and i close my parentheses when i deploy f9 boom it's going to give me 4 because 2 times 2 4 all those minus will take care of themselves okay control z Control enter and, and I send down the result. Now, another method you can actually use to calculate the D squared is using the lambda or what some people call the carrot symbol. So let's see how to use that equal sign. So I'm going to reference the value in cell F2 again. Then we use the lambda symbol or the carrot symbol and then we just type in two and control enter. Of course, we achieve the same result for. Then I copy the formula down so everything is looking exactly the same. Now, the third method is what I love so much. And with this, we're going to use a combination of just a simple formula with mixed cell reference. So let's say equal sign. Now, I'm going to reference the value in cell F2 again, and I'm going to multiply it. Now, I'm going to reference the value in F2 again. So what I'm saying in this formula is to multiply the value in F2 by the same value in F2. Now, the magic is this. I'm going to lock down the column F to the absolute, okay, so that that will give me exactly what I want, while the row 2 of this will remain relative, and that is what's called the mixed cell reference. So I'm going to press F4. One, two, three. So you can actually see that the popular sign is in front of, is behind, rather, the column F. So when I do control enter, we achieve the same form. So when I copy down the formula with the auto fill, boom, this is amazing. So I've shown you two bonus methods through which you can calculate the d squared. Now let's go ahead and do some other part of the calculation. Now this is the formula for the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Of course, the denominator can be modified in, in another way. Or use this same method. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to show you how to use the correl, that is the correlation function. Okay, so equal sign correl. Okay, now that will returns the correlation coefficient between two data sets. Now, what I'm going to do is simple. So, press the tab key. Now, it requires two inputs values for our argument the array one and two so for my array one i'm going to select this my population rank okay because they have the same size that's what is going to work and for my array two i select the area square kilometer rank so close my parentheses when i press Control enter boom that gives us this value so let's reduce the decimals okay so that gives us 0 0.744 which by interpretation simply means there's a strong positive efficient of correlation between the population the cities that has more population 
with the cities that has bigger area square kilometer. Now let's just plug all these you know, values in this formula. Now I'm going to show you a single formula that is going to achieve the same result like this and then we can even do this um, step by step you know, method. Now let's go ahead. I'm just going to follow this formula as a guide. Equal sign. So the first thing I'm going to do is to put in one. Then I need minus. Okay. Now because I have the numerator and the denominator, I'm going to require two open parentheses. So one, two. Okay. Now this second one we handle for the, um, the numerator, and then we have another one for the denominator. Now for the numerator, just type in six. Now multiplied. Okay, now before I do that, okay, let me just put this in um, in active mode. Okay, now let's just come right in here. So I want to calculate the sum of the squared, the d squared. Okay, so I'm going to just do alt equal sign, which performs the awesome. So control enter, and that will give us 340. Now let's go ahead with our formula. Okay, so I get out the this. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to just reference the value in cell at 22, okay? And that's all for that. Close parenthesis, divide by. Now, I can actually be more creative with the denominator. I can use the power function because I understand how it works. Or I can even use the lambda. Anyone is fine for me. Now, I'm going to just open a parenthesis first, okay? Power, okay? Now, the number that is the number of our sample city is 20. So I'm going to just type in 20 and raise to power 2, which is the, I'm sorry, 3 rather, which is this key 3. Okay. And I close that up minus then this end, which is going to be 20. And I close that, this second one, and I close the O formula. When I do control enter, boom, that gave us the same. Result we achieve here 0.744 and so on and so forth. This is cool. Or you can even be more creative. Let's just use the um, simple lambda method. Okay, so I'm going to just get all this one out. Let's just simplify this. Open parenthesis. So I'm just going to need um 20. Then I use the lambda or the caret symbol 3. Then I um minus. 20 i think that's fine close parenthesis close parenthesis control enter yes that's correct so we achieve the same results now this is single formula that performed the whole magic for us okay now let's do this step by step now the first thing to do is to sum the d squared equal sign just use a simple sum function that will select all these okay and close parenthesis control enter that gives us the same results which is fine now let's and the numerator which is this now that's going to be equal sign 6 multiplied by the d squared which is going to be by the calculated value in cell l13 and that will give us 2040 now for the n our n is just um, 20 we have 20 cities okay the sample and the n um squared so we're going to calculate this. That's going to be 20 lambda. Or you can even use the power function. Anyone's convenience. By 3. Oh, excuse me. I need um, the equal sign. But this is the formula. Control enter. And that gives us 8,000. Now let's undo the denominator. Which is going to be equal sign. The n cube minus the 20. And that will give us 7. 980. Now let's calculate the final, okay, which is going to be um, this value minus this value, divide by this value rather. So let's do that. Equal sign. So we take the value in cell L14, divide by the value in this, control enter. Okay. And um, then we, of course, we need to put in the 1 minus, okay. All right, so that gave us exactly the same result. So this is essentially how you calculate the, you know, sperma rank. And of course, this is an indication that there's a strong positive correlation, coefficient of correlation between series that has 
area population and area square kilometer now let's do the scatter chart okay i'm just gonna come here now come to the okay let's select our data first so i'm gonna select this tool okay come to the insert tab we have the scatter chart and then i select this so we have this now you can actually see this is actually a positive you know trend not the negative okay so let's just add a trend line a linear trend line so click on this trend line okay you can actually see it's looking nice now the next thing let's display the out square so i'm going to just click on this the trend line right click forward trend line and then you can just come down here and display the out squared value on the chart and that will give us let's make it to be bold and let's you know increase the font and let's just make it to stand out so let's close this tax pin now that gave us 0 0.5541 okay let's just grab this okay and put it here now how do we calculate this r squared it's simple method let me just show you r squared okay let me just grab the uh, mr power tool symbol and click on insert close boom control enter let's just copy this format come to the home tab click on this format painter let's brush it here boom and let's do this and just copy this um stuff oh, excuse me okay click on the format painter and we have it here okay so to calculate the r squared it's simple equal sign again you can use the power function or the um, lambda okay press the tab key now the number the number rather is going to be this then comma and for the power is going to be raised to power two so when i close parenthesis control enter boom and you can decrease this and can you see that we achieve the same you know results okay so this is basically how you calculate spearman's rank correlation coefficient in excel using the new data types i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please remember to subscribe to my channel and comment in the section you can share with your friends this video.